So, um, good evening to all the participants. I'm Natalia Zizi, twinning ambassador from Greece, and uh, uh, together with uh, Tatiana Gulic, twinning ambassador from Slovenia, uh, we are going to present uh, Web 2.0 tools. The current event is organized by the European Network of V-Twinning Ambassadors Group as part of a series of V-Twinning live events that are meant to introduce different Web 2.0 tools and provide e-twinners with the materials and resources needed for them to use these tools in their e-twinning projects. Uh, before my colleague Tatiana tells you everything about Poton, I should inform you that during each presentation you can type uh, your questions in the chat box and we'll answer them at the end of each presentation. In case you, we don't manage to answer your question because we've run out of time, for example, you can use the event forum after the event is over and we'll get back to you with an answer as soon as possible. Well, Tatiana, the floor is yours. Uh, so, thank you very much. I am Tatiana Gulic, uh, ambassador from Slovenia. I am, I am a teacher uh, in primary or upper primary school. Um, so, I teach the pup pupils from uh, 10 to 15 years. Uh, and uh, I'm teaching physics, mathematics, and ICT sometimes when I, I, when I get my uh, optional subject of it. Um, just uh, in case if something went wrong, maybe you can uh, you can uh, say, give me uh, something some notes or something, uh, Natalia. If the okay, yes, this is what I'm doing. I, is it okay with you? Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. So a okay. Photon is a free tool in basic mode, so uh, we can um, get some upload. Uh, some, some, uh, we can buy some mo mode more, but for uh, basic, uh, it's a free tool, and we just need to register. Uh, we register with the Gmail. It's very comfortable because we can uh, directly upload then videos in YouTube. Um, it's a combination. It's tool. It's combination of animation of text and the images, and we can also add voiceover or music to these things. Of course, we can use it in uh, many ways. Uh, I use it as um, in a classroom, as a flip classroom, so the, the pupils can uh, before can see this, and then we can explain. Uh, extra or make some uh, maybe some introduction to a new theme um, in the beginning of the class. So um, we have uh, many uh, possibilities to use pre-prepared themes or just uh, start from the empty slides. We will go through some uh, some um, uh, special. Uh, Tatiana, sorry to, to uh, interrupt you. Uh, we are looking at the first slide of your presentation. Yeah, it's still the first time. That's okay. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now it's the second time. This is a basic window of a Powtoon window when you are uh, you, when you start to uh, work with it and when you register. So here we have. Um, Creation. We have create. We can create a new Powtoon. Powtoon. Uh, we have, have a dashboard, so we can see what we've done. Uh, we can. Uh, ha we have pricing. Of course, that uh, the prices uh, to make a better version of Powtoon. To, to, but uh, be careful. Tutorials are still for the uh, old w version of Powtoon. So now. It's not very good if, if you are really new, you won't be able to use it at least with some some uh, modifications. And there is a blog, and, and uh, this uh, this is a theme and templates. Uh, you can see here that uh, you can uh, you can use uh, you can choose from for the business, for marketing, sales, for the training for education and so on and so on. So here you can create. Here you can create a new, new Powtoon without, without template. Um, 
Um, here you can, uh, when you click on this uh, empty uh, space, you can, you have to click go and then you can uh, go new Powtoon window. The new Powtoon window looks like this. Here we have a uh, uh, main panel with some um, we will see. Here we, on the left side is a side panel. Here is a stage where we create things and a library panel on the right side. And of course, the, the very important thing is timeline. So we can see how it is going on. How we can, of course, add texts. From this uh, text uh, box, we can add text. Um, of course, there is a simple text and we can later uh, later uh, edit it or with already prepared one but uh, be careful because many of them are just for pay version so uh, here we can edit the text and we if, when we click on this edit and this T here we we get a new window with the text effect manager here we can see we we just uh, click on it and here we can see what, what it looks like. I will later this. Then uh, we can choose library and of course here you can see that some of these are uh, static, some of them are moving characters and, of, and some of them are free and some of them are not free. But uh, uh -huh, here um, we can add on. Um, we can also add on the timeline here. Very small note here. Uh, you can click on it, and you you get the the, the uh, sound manager. Here you can just uh, simple uh, record your voice and uh, add it to to the to the timeline. Or, or you can choose m music track. Of course, you can uh, also. Uh, get some some else but be aware of uh, licenses and um, aha, here arrow so um, we can always go back to a dashboard uh, we on on this on this uh, small uh, three lines here uh, so we can uh, see our dashboard so everything is uh, saved on that time and uh, we can uh, preview what uh, with this I button uh, we can of course publish export and on the right side we get uh, where we can upload it Vimeo YouTube uh, this one is only premium Vistia or oh, and we can download as PDF if we don't have a paid version just as PDF, and of course we can use it also in in um, um, social um, social networks, and we can email it. Uh, so when we upload to the web, for instance on YouTube, uh, of course if you are um, if you are um, signing as a Gmail user, then it's be the best thing you code it to YouTube with uh, your account or you could add some of it this is uh, this this can be public or private uh, well in this uh, only uh, on free version it's not uh, possible to get unlisted version so uh, just public or private or private so then you can here you can see for the tool for this uh, for what you can have it but uh, later when you upload uh, you can um, you uh, powtoon you can uh, add um, you can get the message that the video was was okay and of course in uh, gmail or, or in mail you can also get message of successful published uh, Powtoon. Uh, and um, then you can get uh, 
you can get um, uh, embed code and you decide how big it is. Uh, you can also embed, uh, you can also get embed in your dev but only when you ex already ex exported uh, Powtoon. So if you, you are not exported, you have this embed code. And this embed code is possible to uh, embed it in uh, TwinSpace. And uh, now we can go, we can try it online. So all these things I quit. Uh, just in case if uh, somebody wants to to have uh, this again, you will get this uh, these slides in uh, I don't know I think in forum uh, near uh, near um, live. There event. will be or in the maybe... file section of the event. Okay, or maybe also on uh, on this. Um, uh, uh, on this, um, well, well <laughs> um, okay, this. So dashboard is this. When you click on create or, or just uh, um, move mouse over, you can start from scratch, or you can get your ready already made Powtoon. So. Uh, click on go on this one here is go and we get this empty empty uh, space empty stage on here we can have zoom in or zoom out um, you can see it's uh, bigger uh, um, basic basic uh, main uh, main panel is with the save button, uh, with the edit, with undo and redo, with, with the preview, export, and uh, in uh, this um, uh, here you can go directly to prepared, uh, pre prepared um, Powtoons. How we can add this? Simple click test, text, click insert main menu, and you already get it. Click on this one. Of course, you can you can uh, uh, make it bigger or or uh, smaller. Here, you can select your uh, your uh, uh, fonts, your color of your title, and and of course, uh, all these uh, things. And when you click on here, you can see how the text it is. If you use this effect, uh, you hear, you can hear, uh, you can hear, you can see the. So um, this effect looks like this one. This one, word by word. This one, like this, and um, you can find things and. Of course, uh, I don't prefer to use it very much, but this hand is very good, so we can use it this. On, ta on timeline, on uh, down, you can see how long it is. Basically, every slide is 10 seconds long, but you can add seconds until 20 minutes. So it can be 20 minutes long. With this, uh, you can move from second to second, here you see you can uh, see the, uh, how this this will start how the the animation will start if we click on play you can see how it will appear why not okay going back okay like this and again and it stops. So, um, if we click on this uh, sign, you can see how long the effect lasts. You, we, we will add something else, for instance, shapes like arrows. You just click it, and of course, you can move it. 
and uh, uh, immediately you can see where it is. This one is from uh, um, for uh, half of first second to third second. This one will appear maybe a bit, a bit late, uh, um, sooner. Then the title will go like this. So if we move this, we said okay, at six minutes, it's just six seconds, it can go away this arrow. And of course, we can uh, say this arrow can go on the right side. We want to go to the right side. And we want, okay, one one thing more with the title, we want to be to be moved here. Uh, for instance, down, move down, but with the hand, uh, with the hand, so it will look like this, and some, uh, and then the hand put out this uh, address. So we have um, this arrow from the from six seconds, so we can. We can say okay. The, for the first side, it's okay. It, it will last six seconds. Then we add the new one. We simply click on plus plus and add the new one. We can add background. We can have background like this. We have um, for every uh, slide for every uh, on every. Every stage for every slide we can have different background here we didn't use it but we can do that later or maybe a blue one because everything was red so here we can get, get shapes uh, we already have get, uh, got shapes in a library we had we have uh, more moving creatures if there is if there is uh, a sign, some sign, we can we can flip it. So they are talking to each other. We can add now an image. Uh, on, for instance, there is uh, there is um, a photo. Uh, I don't know. This one is a computer. We can upload it from my computer, but we can use the photo. We already have it, and, and this full talk is to be so we can. I think we can we can add it. Uh, we can make it smaller, like this. okay. And we can move everything to on the wall and. Um, no. This photo editor, we can also use this one instead of those who will uh, Natalia present. Uh, I think this can go to bring forward. So this uh, lady is on, not on the picture. Events on different Web 2.0 tools are organized by the European Network of V2Ening Ambassadors Group as part of a series of V2Ening live events that are meant to introduce different web tools and provide it to winners with the material and resources needed for them to use these tools in their V2Ening projects. In the originalness announcement of uh, the May 11th event, it, because it was included as one of the, uh, the web 2.0 tools to be presented. However, Picasa was withdrawn by Google and users cannot download Picasa software anymore. For those of you who have already downloaded, I should let you know that you can still use it. There won't be any updates though. Now, why is Picasa 3 a web tool that's worth presenting? Because apart from editing and organizing our photos by folder and date, we may use Picasa to create collages and videos, making the most out of the images neatly arranged in folders in Picasa. Since Picasa is not available anymore, we can use other tools instead to create collages and videos. 
Let's start with Magisto and see how we can create memorable movies in just four steps. Magisto is a free video edited, uh, editing application with a few limitations in its free edition, but perfectly suitable for those interested in making impressive short videos in really a short time. The Magisto engine analyzes the pictures and videos uploaded and comes up with the best possible arrangement and transition of images. To find out more about Magisto, visit its free website www.magisto.com First, you need to log in. You can log in either using your Facebook account or your Google account or you can simply create a Magisto account by typing in the relevant boxes in the relevant boxes your full name, your email address and a password. Click on the blue button that reads Create Movie and take the first step. Select files from your computer or from Google. You can upload up to 10 items, that is 10 videos or 10 photos or 5 videos and 5 photos, but the end video should be less than 1000 megabytes and not longer than 15 minutes. Step 2. Choose different editing styles or themes, scrolling down the page or using the arrows to check what's available on the other pages. Based on your choice, Magisto arranges the photos, defines the transition scheme, selects type of animation. Step 3. Choose music. You can upload your own music, but if you don't have anything handy, you could choose from one of the royalty-free soundtracks suggested by Magisto. You can preview it, or just go ahead and select it. Type your title. That's step 4. When the movie is ready, you'll get an email from Magisto notifying you that the video is ready to play. Let's check these icons here. You can duplicate the movie, email it to a friend, or post it on Facebook. If you wish to download it, you should upgrade first. If you want to uh, avoid upgrading and paying a fee, you can provide a friend's email address and then both you and your friend will be entitled to a free download each. Or there are other options as well. You can embed the movie in the twin space using the HTML code or you can send it to YouTube and download it from there using a software such as YouTube Downloader, which is the easiest way to download a movie uh, that you have made using Magisto. Now, uh, let's move on to be funky and make a collage. A collage is actually one picture made up of other pictures. In the free version of Be Funky, we can use 3 to 36 or even to 140 pictures. Here's an impressive collage you can find on the Be Funky website and you may create an equally or even more impressive one after experimenting with the tool for a while. Type uh, on your browser uh, type www.befunky.com on your browser and then sign up using either your Facebook account or your Google account or by entering your private email address and a password in the form you can see on your screen. In the last case, you'll be sent a message to your mailbox to verify your email address. Verify it and make sure you choose Be Funky Free. A piece of advice, if you don't wish to upgrade and be able to unlock certain Be Funky features, you don't need to sign up. You don't need to if you are to use only the free version, which is adequate, it, it's good enough for beginners. So here we are at the home page of Be Funky. There are uh, three tools, photo editor, collage, um, photo editor and designer are two useful tools and we may cover them at a future eTwinning Live event. For now let's click on Collage Maker. This is our collage making area. On the white top bar next to the Be Funky logo, the title points to the work area used. Collage Maker and if we click on the arrow we can see the, the names of all three Be Funky work areas. 
Next button on the white top bar is save and the menu points the saving options we have. Collages are saved either as PNG or as JPEG files. Share button on the menu tells us that what our sharing options are. There are the undo buttons and the X button for reset. When you click X, all the photos are cleared and you start over. At the end of the top bar, you can choose to upgrade, sign in or sign up if you wish to use a BeFunky feature which isn't free. You may ask for help from the help desk or change language. The tool is available in 13 languages. Now let's check the black part of the work area. On the left there is a vertical bar with six icons. Let's check them out. Image Manager. In the middle you can see the BeFunky sample pictures. To get started you can upload images from your computer or your Facebook account or Pixabay or use these BeFunky sample pictures. By clicking on Autofill, all the photos uploaded are placed in the collage. By clicking on the X, the grid on the right is cleared. The grid pattern here has 9 cells, 9 black cells where photos of almost the same size would fit in. Beneath the grid there is a bar you can use to zoom in and out on the grid, fit it in the screen or shift to full screen. This grid is the default pattern, but you can change it by clicking on the Layout stub. From the Layout presets, you can uh, create your own layout. Then you drag and drop your photos to any cell on the grid you like. If you're in a hurry and arranging the photos is not your favorite task, you can click on the Collage Wizard, and you are asked to select the photos you wish to be included in the collage, and then click on Use. Uh, then, on your right, you can browse your collage options. When you find one that fits your purpose, you click on the blue button, select this collage. The tab between Image Manager and Layouts tabs is uh, the Settings tab. When you are asked to decide about background color, height and width of the collage, whether there is going to be any space among images and whether the images are going to be rounded or not. Background color is of no importance if you have decided to use a pattern for your collage. The next tab on the vertical bar is the Patterns tab. There are many options here. The hard icon stands for graphics. You can upload your own graphic or use the ones exhibited here in the graphic library. A is the text tool. You can choose one of the text presets or choose yourself what your text will look like by deciding your text properties. The envelope, the last icon on the vertical bar, stands for greeting cards you can make by switching to BeFunky Designer. Finally, you can use a frame and make a collage bigger or smaller. At the end of the PowerPoint, you can find videos and resources that can help you with Magista and BeFunky. There are also some suggestions for free for video editing tools. Uh, use the URL address to post your collage and your video on the Padlet. Here's the link to the Padlet again. Remember to add your name and tell us your opinion about the event. Thank you very much for attending this event.